this video we will be studying about the inflation. Now what is inflation? We have discussed in the previous video that inflation is the situation of increase in the general price level over a period of time now see if i talk about in 1950s uh, rupee 1 had greater worth than what the worth of rupee 1 is now rupee 1 could buy you could buy Ten pencils at that time. If I talk about 2016, rupee one cannot buy a pencil even. So this is how the inflation. So this is the inflation. The worth of rupee has decreased. It has devalued. So the inflation. affects the process of the growth and development usually the economy the developing economy faces the problem of inflation now what are the indicators of inflation the indicators of inflation first is a wholesale price index. See, you will uh, learn how to calculate the wholesale price index in your statistics in year 12 standard. But for now, understand what is wholesale price index. When you compare your wholesale prices, your current year wholesale prices with your base year wholesale prices, right? So the relative change in the prices of the wholesale especially the wholesale prices is your wholesale price index that is WP uh, it measures the change in the wholesale prices on weekly basis we find out the wholesale price index on the weekly basis so it tells us how the inflation has increased on the weekly basis second is your consumer price index in this uh, you take the retail prices and check out the relative change in the retail prices in the current year from the base year now what how the uh, prices have changed how much change it has come so this is your consumer price index so the consumer price index for the current year minus consumer uh, price index for the previous year divided by your consumer price index of the current year as uh, so a base year into 100. This helps you to find out how much is the rate of inflation. In the same way, you can find out the WPI of the second week the WPI of the first week divided by the WPI of the first week into 100 which gives you the rate of inflation now what how much the inflation has occurred during that period third is your GDP deflator GDP is actually the value of goods and services which is produced in the country during an accounting year so GDP deflator can be find out using the formula. The GDP at current prices, that is the price of the current year, divided by GDP at constant prices, that is the GDP of the base year. So if the GDP deflator is 2, which means the price level has increased by 2 times. If the GDP deflator is 4, which means the price in the current 
year have increased by four times. So this is the indicator of inflation. Now this is the trends of inflation in India. So in 1951-56, that is the first plan, it was minus 3.6 and 6.3, 5.8. And then it kept on rising. So it was very high. So in the fourth year plan, it was nine inflation, nine percent. Then in sixth, it was nine point seven percent. Then it in the ninth year plan, in it has reduced to three point nine. After that, in the tenth plan, it has increased. Then eleventh plan, it has again increased to seven point four percent. But if we talk about the latest trend for these years, from two thousand thirteen to two thousand sixteen. So 2013 it was very high 10.92 in 2014 it has reduced 6.37 then in 2015 it has reduced to 5.88 in 2016 the inflation rate is 4.97 percent so ultimately the government is taking steps to reduce the inflation rate in India so I hope you like our video please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us